Hello, my name is Willie Charlton, and I am a realtor here in the Back Bay with Coldwell Banker, uh, buying, selling, and leasing the finest properties from here to Hereford Street. Uh, today, we're going to take a little break from real estate, and I'm going to show you how to make my favorite shortbread. Um, it's really easy to make. It has only a couple ingredients, and total, total time is about half an hour. Um, you could probably do it in less than that. Um, if you are on my mailing list, you got one of these little recipe cards in the mail, um, and then this video is to follow along with. Um, if you didn't get one of these, uh, there's a link in the description. You can go to my website and you can download the recipe card. Um, so, and if you want to be um, added to my mailing list, there are also instructions down there so you can get hard copies of stuff. This is just an example of my November mailer. December is going to be something a little different. Um, so, to start this, you got to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Um, I already did that. Uh, so, next up. Oh, so, so, all these are really simple ingredients. Um, flour, salt, butter, maple syrup. It's a maple shortbread. Um, I got all of these ingredients. You can see this. Um, I got all of the ingredients at Savener's on Charles Street. Um, I want to say that this was pretty expensive. All of this, these items right here were about 50 bucks. Uh, but it'll last for a long time. It's not, you're not going to just get one batch of shortbread out of this. Um, the maple syrup was like 20 bucks. So that's, that's, was the bulk of it. Um, but that's maple syrup. So, um, simple breakdown of this. We're going to mix the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients and then the wet and dry ingredients. Um, so, yeah, let me start. So we start off with a cup of softened butter. Um, I just left this out in my apartment, so it feels like it's pretty soft. One cup of butter is two sticks, and this is unsalted butter. I don't hear the, <laughs> hear the wrapper when he comes running. She loves butter, but so do I. All right, two sticks, one cup. Here, you want to look at? Come here. Just don't hit the tripod. Rinse my hands off real quick. All right, so we got two sticks of butter, one cup, and to this we're going to add a quarter of a cup of maple syrup. I hate when they put these little plastic things on, but then there's no perforated uh, region to tear it off. doing this with a fork. All right, so the next step, we got the dry ingredients, which essentially is just flour and a little bit of salt. That's the mechanism for closing. So we're down two cups, two cups of flour. Have a 
teaspoon of sea salt. And then we combine these. I'm just going to dig my hands in here. You can hear the vacuum cleaner just left over. She loves when I cook because I usually make a mess. Alright. So, let me get this into a ball. Um, you want to put it onto a parchment lined baking sheet. I actually am out of parchment paper. The baking sheet I have has like a, an etched pattern on it to make it non stick. So, uh, I'm hoping that works, it should, it usually does. I'm gonna put a little flour down though, definitely. Baking sheet. Then we just want to spread it out into like whatever shape you want, um, about a quarter of an inch thick. And I'm not going to measure it. It's going to be a freeform shortbread. I think that looks pretty good. It's a little thick. It'll be fine. What else? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, we gotta score it um, for whatever shapes you wanna break it up into. Usually what I do is I just take a he big heavy knife and I just drag it across, like so. And then we bake this for 15 to 20 minutes. I think in the recipe card, it's, yeah, I said 15 minutes. Um, it might take a little bit longer, it might take a little less, depending on how thick you make it. Um, but until it's like a golden brown color. All right, so I just put the shortbread in the oven, and now we wait for 15, maybe 20 minutes. All right. Timer's about to go off. 15 minutes. <laughs> Not done. I don't know if I should bring it to you or you to it. Not done. Not yet. Five more minutes. All right, the timer just went off after five more minutes. Let's look at it. I 
I'd say we're getting there. We're getting there. I think that it is taking uh, this long because I made it too thick. It's okay. Let's do another five. All right, the timer just went off again, so let's have a look. Nice golden brown. I actually can't really, ow, oh, oh, oh. Hot through the pot holder. All right, now that the shortbread is out of the oven, we wait for it to cool before we can enjoy it. Um, it's really hot right now. So we're gonna have to wait. Um, yeah. So, took the stuff out of the oven. I let it cool. Me and I went for a walk. We came back and now we're chowing down. Um, so it is pretty good. I already started. I think it came out great. I'm gonna eat it all. Um, see, the preparations aren't great, but it breaks along the lines for the most part. Yeah, so that's it. That is maple shortbread. I encourage you to make it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, let me know if you do make it. Send me photos or send me some shortbread. Um, but, you know, also reach out if you need a realtor. Yeah, if you're looking to buy, or you're looking to sell, or you know somebody's looking to buy, or know somebody's looking to sell, put us in touch. Alright, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something.